Golf mates, this video has to be done because of the debate going on Instagram and Twitter and it's just firing away with people who've got different opinions and it's yes, Jordan Spieth's rant to his caddy, Michael Greeler. I think that's his name. So I thought to myself, I've been looking on Twitter and there's posts, I'll, I'll start with my mate because I've spoken to a good friend of mine, James Robinson. He said Jordan Spieth's embarrassing for a laugh. One of my followers, or golf mate, said to me, Liam, what do you think being a top 16 in Europe caddy? Joking apart, I've done a bit of caddy on the European tour. For my friend, I'm not really a caddy, but we did finish top 16 last time we were out. So I had my feelings, and joking apart, I just put my penny in of saying I would knock him clean out. But it was more tongue-in-cheek. So I've sat back and just laughed and didn't think much of it. So then I've been looking at all different things saying it's embarrassing, then some, some people are saying he's in the wrong, it's terrible, some people are saying his caddy should chuck his clubs at him and walk off. And then I was thinking to myself, right, let's just really think about this debate. So Jordan Spieth is at, I think he's on the 7th or 8th fall, I think it was his 8th fall, he's hit a 4 iron, it's bounced and bounced and bounced, got into the water, so he's had to take a penalty drop, he's took another shot and... I'll show you the clip in a minute, the flag is giving it what for. And it's bounced on the green, probably just past pin eye, didn't check because it's a long way back and got in the bad rough. Now, for me, yes, the first shot maybe. So his reaction, here, I'll put it up. So that's his reaction. Now, is he angry? Yes. Should he be angry? Yes. Now, like I said, I've done a bit of caddying, and a caddy is a probably an unsung hero as well. They are a part of a team. Him and his golfer, professional golfer, are a close unit and a very good team. And do a professional golfer need a caddy? Within reason, yeah. Without a shadow of a doubt, some caddies, uh, golfers like reassurance. So, how he spoke to him, you could say what you want. I think James had a problem, he didn't look him in his eye, but he was walking off. You've got to keep up with playing, stuff like that. Now, this is how I look at it. I used to have a business, a decorating business. Now, if one of my painters did a job, crap, am I entitled to show to him and bollock him? Yes, I am. Did Jordan bollock him and show to him? If he did it, he did a bit pants, you know, he did a bit soft, didn't it? Do you know what I mean? He could have done it a lot worse. Now, don't take my opinion on this because I've got a real caddy on the video and I've also got Tom Murray, a professional golfer, who is fair player to Tom. Anyway, here's Tom's reaction to the debate. So, yeah, there's been obviously quite a big sort of social media outrage, we'll call it, um, about the Jordan Spieth Michael Gorilla situation at Pebble Beach. My take as a professional golfer is I don't see any problem with how Jordan spoke to him, how he acted. He didn't demean Michael. He didn't sort of embarrass him. He was well within his rights. He was obviously given a wrong club or they got a wrong club between them off the tee and the second shot. And Jordan was just sort of ranting to himself. I mean, it's, it's the US Open at Pebble Beach and he's contending. It's not just your monthly medal, is it? Um, so emotions are running high, and I actually think he dealt with it in a really professional manner. Um, I've seen caddies get sacked for less than that mid-round, and I've seen a couple of people say that some caddies would drop the bag there and then, and just it's just not how the world of professional golf is not like that. Um, and I honestly think Jordan acted in a professional, but... He obviously cares, he really cares, and he pays Michael a lot of money to get decisions like that right. And they, it happens, it, they got it wrong. And I'm sure, I'm positive that he wouldn't have carried it on to the next hole and the next shot. So I think it's just a bit of a storm in a teacup. And um, yeah, that's just my point of view. So that's what Tom thinks. He thinks it's a storm in a teacup, but it's not really seen a lot worse. And really, like I said, it's big money. Michael gets paid big money and it's in that host not hostile environment, a pressure environment. It's a US Open at Pebble Beach for God's sake. So I am in this debate, I agree with Tom, I do. 
being on both sides watching, I agree with Tom. And when you think about it, now here's Dave Simmons who's been on. He's carried on and off bits for yes. He's, he's carried. Here's his opinion. Was Jordan right to have a go at Michael? I've heard a lot worse over 25 years of caddying. He's the boss at the end of the day. This is the US Open. He wants to win. They've misjudged the wind. It took a big bounce. He's frustrated. Sometimes as a caddy, you need, you need to know when to keep quiet. Michael's very good at that, keep, helping Jordan keep calm. He's got his frustration out. They'll move on. If you hadn't heard it on the microphone, you'd have never known that the body language wasn't there. He's just having a pop getting his frustration out they'll be there at the weekend and i bet they'll be in with a good chance storm in a teacup for me so that's dave simmons opinion he's been on tour he's carried in america and england which no one knew about but i've had to i've opened it up now so this debate i want your comments below now it's not a debate where the pros an arsehole dave's an arsehole i'm an arsehole it's just a a adult debate is jordan spieth in the wrong or is he right? I'd love your opinions. Now, if you're new to the channel, you wonder what all this golf mates is. This channel has no subscribers. People who subscribe are a golf mate. You're not a number or a subscriber. You're a golf mate. You'll see that in the comments below. So, golf mates, I'm open to ears now. I'm going to be looking at all this. I'm actually going caddying in Germany tomorrow. We're setting off tomorrow, which will be Sunday. So, I will be replying to the comments and looking at them. So, all right, golf mates. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you think it's a great debate and I'll uh, I'll reply to all your comments. Here to you soon. Thanks for Tom and Dave. Big thanks.